Today I'll show you guys how to set up FL Studio Mobile if you're downloading it for the first time. Please, in case you're new around here, my name is Famous Nelson. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you open an FL Studio Mobile for the first time, you see something like this. Just tap on your screen and it will take you to this place. Do you want to watch the Getting Started tutorial? It depends on you so just click on don't show this again and here it says you can watch the video anytime on the help just click on ok so now you click on the apple icon you see at the top right side of your screen and um, you click on settings and please make sure you pay attention to the settings because if your settings are not okay some features will not work on your devices so please make sure you pay good attention so the first option you see on that settings is audio settings and it says multi chord processing you just have to turn it on so now you move to recording settings and um you just have to turn on the three options on that recording settings and now you see a white line those line actually represent the volume of the metronome so this is where you act where you reduce or increase the volume of the metronome you can actually increase it or reduce it so whenever you feel your metronome is too high or is too low so you can actually come and adjust the volume here so the next thing here is the dim this is actually where you change the background of this app to um, any color you think is more suitable to you. Uh, you can see different different colors. You can just try different um, colors and choose the one that um, suits you. So for the sake of the tutorial, I just leave it at the FL Studio default color. So now the next setting is um, the application setting. It has to do mostly with the keyboard. So um, you enable ghost notes and um, the third one is optional you can turn it on if you want to let's move to the fourth one show skills and um, turn this one on and turn the, the um, this one is also optional it depends on what you want and um, um, the CPU you, you skip that one then you enable the last one so now let's go to the advanced setup, the advanced setting I mean to say. So you can sign into your Google account with um, Air Force Studio Mobile so that you can actually back up your files. Like you can save your files direct to your file, to your Google Drive whenever you sign in. So once you save your song, it automatically goes into your Google Drive when you sign in. So, um, these two options here, it depends on the one you want. You can say sync automatically or you can say sync all when connected to Wi-Fi. So now we're through with the settings, but there's one last thing I need to let you know. Alpha Studio Mobile has a job where you can actually buy different sounds like keyboard, pianos, as a phone. And to locate the shop, you click on the shop icon here. You see it close to the settings. So yeah, you see different, um, different scenes and um, different um, instruments to buy. So you, although some of them are free, if you have some of them are free. So I would advise if you have money, you should buy some of these sounds. They will actually help to make your beat or your song sound more quality more professional because these sounds are very good so effort studio mobile have to sell them to you if you see anyone that has the download icon you just have to click on it and it will start downloading instantly as long as your data network is turned on and um, i would advise you to also buy sounds from this shop because the sounds here uh, the ones that are for sale are really good they sound really good and they will help to make your 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 beats sound more more professional because they have good sense you know 
and um, to buy it you just have to follow the same process you use in um, buying the Air Force Studio mobile app from Google Play Store you can just buy it with your debit card and um, that's it so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I'll see you on my next video